Hey guys, Teddy Covers for Wager Talk TV with a big game breakdown. Let's talk Sunday night football. The Buffalo Bills at the Cincinnati Bengals. Right now, I'm seeing it's really a mixed line, a split line as we speak. There are minus two and a halfs out there for Cincinnati. There are minus threes as well. The Bills underdogs, regardless whether they're two and a half or three point dogs. The Bills are dogs in this game. Total sitting at 48 and a half in early week betting action. And look, we saw, I guess, something positive from Buffalo this past weekend. 25 first downs, 6.3 yards per play. Josh Allen threw for 300 plus yards. They ran for more than 100 at 4.4 yards a carry. Good things for Buffalo. But the same struggles that have been playing them continue to plague them, most notably in the red zone. Only two of four in the red zone when it comes to touchdowns. And of course, they give up the late score on a 17-play drive with multiple penalties to lose the cover. But when you're not scoring touchdowns consistently in the red zone, it's going to catch up with you. And that's why Buffalo has struggled in recent weeks. It's largely been a lack of red zone production. And some of the quotes from the Bills, not great in my mind. Wide receiver Khalil Shakir talked about how this game against Tampa on Thursday night was huge. You know, we came into this game with a different mindset. Obviously ups and downs, but McDermott tells us don't ride the roller coaster, stay consistent as a team and stay on the gas pedal. So they had a different mindset against Tampa. Still didn't play 60 minutes of football. <laughs> That's a concern for this better. Now we know what happened last year when these two teams met. Devin Hamlin got injured early. The game got canceled. And that ended up costing Buffalo a chance for home field advantage in the AFC, which ended up maybe costing them their season. So there will certainly be an interest here for the Buffalo Bills in this huge matchup. But Buffalo's not playing that well right now, not on either side of the football. And we look at Cincinnati. Again, there were a handful of teams, and I made a big, a significant, this stage of the season in the NFL, barring injury, I'm not moving a team more than a half a point or one point in any week in terms of my powering adjustment. Cincinnati won of three teams this past week where I made a bigger move than I normally do at this time of the year. Up. Why? Well, the Bengals look like the Bengals on Sunday. Jamar Chase, all you need to say now is, welcome back, Burrow. Welcome back. Burrow, quote, I worked really hard on that all offseason. And for four or five weeks, I haven't been able to show that. So when you see hard work paying off, it's exciting. Zach Taylor, the head coach. This is what we know we are capable of. What Cincinnati did in San Francisco, and I know the 49ers are struggling, but make no mistake about it, this team had one rushing touchdown all year. They had two on the ground yesterday. Their stats are going to be lying for some times. All of a sudden, Burrow's healthy. The offensive line is healthy. The receiving core is healthy. Joe Mixon is healthy. This offense just went from sputtering to clicking on all cylinders. And when you're hanging 31 on San Fran, you're doing something right. Big buy sign on Cincinnati right now. And I just don't see that for Buffalo. Now, there is a concern here, a big concern, that Cincinnati defense allowed 8.2 yards per play. But they forced turnovers. They were playing with a lead. The coverage wasn't as tight as it might be. And, of course, Joe Burrow only threw four incompletes all day against a pretty elite 49ers defense in a bet-on spot for San Francisco. So I'm going to give Cincinnati all the credit in the world. I look at them as a one-way team right now. If I'm involved in a Bengals game, it doesn't mean it's going to be that way three weeks from now. But right now, Cincinnati, in my mind, their power rating should go boop. And if I'm playing a Bengals game for the next week or two, it's likely to only be Cincinnati or pass. Since he's playing better than Buffalo is right now. And the market's... They're starting to adjust. Maybe they'll get there, but they're not there yet. Lay it. Uh, if I'm playing, I'm laying. Bengals are pass for this better. Thank you so much for watching Wager Talk TV. Please give us a like. Please give us a follow. Tons of free videos right here on this channel. And of course, if you want to get on board with the picks package, rest of the year promo. Nothing more to buy. No bait and switch. You get every single play for any capper you want. 469 bucks. All the 5%s, every sport they do, right through Sunday, December 31st. 
give yourself an early Christmas present. Four sixty nine under fifty nine bucks a week for this end of the year all sports special. No promo code needed. Just visit your favorite cappers page at wagertalk.com and take advantage. Good luck this weekend. Thanks for watching Wager Talk TV.